seriously this just leaves such a bitter taste in my mouth <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to go on a mini rant of something that I've been seeing all over Twitter. Um, it was just really disappointing. I've been seeing so much negativity on Twitter lately of all these fandom wars and all this shit that's just happening. And I'm just like, you know what, let me just talk about it because, because I like talking about stuff. So... So if you want to hear me rant about K-pop and stuff, just stick around. Okay, so the other day I was uh, on Twitter and I stumbled upon this photo of this girl. Ah. Honestly, I know you weren't the person that did this, that vandalized the photo. I know you weren't the person that actually like just went up there and did it. I know that. But you still willingly went up and put yourself in front of that poster and you, you took a picture of it in order to to do something malicious and it's not cute it doesn't make you look good it doesn't make your fandom look good at all i need you to understand that when you do stuff like this like this this isn't just you you're talking about you are representing a fandom you are part of a fandom and and people will look down upon you and that fandom for your actions and i think that's where a lot of people get confused or a lot of people don't don't realize what their actions do and the consequences to those actions and 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 the fact that you just had like absolutely no remorse or you just didn't didn't care and 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 only deleted the photo because you were getting so much hate from it um and then you just so happened to write on on your platform that that you you were unapologetic about it and it is what it is you did what you did and you don't care just really shows what kind of person you are and it's really sad and immature and um and yeah if you guys don't already know, I am multi-fandom and you would probably know this if you watch our reaction channel, Baocho Day. Um, Joe and I, we, we love reacting to so many K-pop groups, um, but we are multi-fandom and the groups that we love, we love um, and we want nothing but the best for them. Being multi-fandom, it's, it's very upsetting when I see stuff like this because you guys already know how much I love BTS, but you also know how much I love exo anywho this is actually part of the reason why there are so many fandom wars out there and that's where this whole video comes about and and why i just wanted to give my little opinion on on fandom wars and all that good stuff honestly i think it's kind of i think it's just so sad that like people don't realize or don't understand that there really is no true war amongst idols themselves yet somehow you feel the need to belittle somebody else's faves simply because you think that your faves are superior <sighs> all these idols come from a very competitive industry and an industry where they they still work their asses off but still push each other to do good to do great to continue working towards your dream all of these guys are shooting for one thing they all have the same dream and it's to succeed no one knows that hard work and dedication that goes through this industry no one knows how hard it is to get to the top except these guys and these guys understand it better than anybody else these idols inspire each other and they learn from each other every single day and you want to know something that's not really a secret but i'm gonna say it like it's a secret all your faves and non-faves are all friends with each other <gasps> seriously why can't you guys just learn from your faves and, and, and honestly stop all this hate it's it's to be honest it's complete and utter bullshit it's completely immature and it says so much about your character when you're spreading so much freaking hate honestly ask yourself before you start posting stupid shit like this you need to ask yourself how do you think your idols will feel if they see this shit on the internet do you honestly think that they're proud of you? Do you think they're saying, oh, haha, ha, that's so cute? No, they're not. Do you honestly think that they bust their asses off to see their fans doing stupid shit like that? No, they don't. These guys are the sweetest, most humble human beings who want nothing more than to succeed and to grow and to learn from each other and just be happy. And they want the same thing for us too. If you guys really, really, really wanted your faves to succeed, you would support the people that inspire them. You would support their friends. 
Because fact of the matter is, then their friends will support you too. If you guys honestly didn't spend so much time trashing each other as opposed to supporting each other, all your faves can make it huge in the industry in any part of the world. Not only did I see that photo of, you know, the girl standing in front of the BTS, not only did I see this photo, I also saw a photo of the Agassiz and, you know, GOT7 fans and, and how they two did a ribbon project, they called it the Green Ribbon Project because they wanted to keep their idols safe from the airport and they were getting so much hate from people because apparently it wasn't an original project idea and they stole this project idea and i'm just thinking like holy crap dude isn't coughing like the biggest form of flattery number one and number two shouldn't you be happy that you know people are learning from your projects and they want to continue spreading that kind of message to other fandoms to protect their idols like do, does that not like why is everything why does everything have to be a competition i don't fucking understand i just really it blows my mind not only did these people even ask they asked the people who created the, the purple ribbon project they asked for permission and they asked for ideas and help on how to be able to do the same thing for their faves you know and, and they were able to execute it their own way you know they they chose a different color they it, it just the idea was there yes i understand it wasn't original whatever but the fact that they're going that extra step to keep their idol safe because they learned that from armies and they learned that from other people like Shouldn't you be proud of that? Like, shouldn't you be happy? Shouldn't you be wanting to set that example and, and have more people set that example for other people? Like, I don't understand why everything is always a problem. I really don't want to make this video a long one. Honestly, I just wanted to like share my thoughts and like get it out of my system right now more than anything because I was just like feeling like the need to just like talk away so I'm, I'm just gonna end it right here but come on seriously just just think about it i would love to hear your thoughts on this issue i would love to know maybe if you guys have any ideas on like how how to even make these fandom wars stop like how do you feel if, about fandom wars like are you the type of person that that fuels them are you the type of person that and i, and I want to know like get in your head like what 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 makes you feel so great about belittling somebody else or what you know that's that's the kind of stuff that i want to know I'm, I'm very into like getting into people's like minds and stuff and seeing how things work so if you're one of those people that that constantly instigate and and stuff like that or I'd, I'd like to hear your opinion too like i'm not here to start a war i'm not here to i'm just sharing my opinion um i just really want to know what drives you to to like hate so much and um and also the people that don't start fandom wars and don't care for fandom wars like i want to i want to hear your opinion too and but yeah like don't 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 talk shit in the comments below like I, and don't put down somebody for you know stating their own opinion this is a place where you i want you guys to talk and interact with each other but no hate like no like this isn't the environment to hate on people no i don't want that at all i kind of just want us all to understand each other if anything but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed my mini rant if you'd like to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and share this video and also if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please do um i'll be posting more makeup and mukbang stuffs and just stating my opinions about stuffs and you know whatever this is me living day by day day by day haha <laughs> anywho thank you guys so much for watching until our next video much love